we've got the Genesis Woodgear clock up and running. And it's pretty mesmerizing, pretty cool to just listen to the clicks. As far as the gears go, everything except the escapement wheel was cut on a home-built or modified CNC. There's a little bit more wiggle room for these gears than the escapement wheel. And with my CNC, even though it's pretty dialed in, couldn't quite make an escapement wheel that would work. It was just a little bit out of round. So this one I cut by hand. And interestingly, it went quicker on the scroll saw than it did on the CNC. I thought that would be a whole lot more work to cut by hand, and it really wasn't. These were the escapement wheels that I cut on the CNC, and I would make a wheel, make a cut, and measure it, and it would be just a little bit off. It would be about between an eighth and a sixteenth, closer to a sixteenth of an inch off on opposing axes or opposing angles, and that just wouldn't quite work. Kept trying, kept trying, and then finally decided to cut it by hand. Same with the pallets. I did several of these and also ended up cutting the one that worked by hand. And it really wasn't that difficult. Cutting each angle in one direction, cutting the angle in the other direction, and then some sanding. I do have some friction issues here, so I need to use a lot more weight. The design calls for about 7 pounds, and I've got closer to 10 here with this great big Stilson wrench, and then a little one hanging on the back. The fishing line is 50 pound test, so there's no issues about that breaking off. And the other thing that I'm still working out, I need to recut the winding mechanism. The one that I made didn't fit perfectly with this back wheel, and it would occasionally slip. So for the time being, since I've got to redo it, I just screwed the hour wheel into that winding spool just to see how this would work, kind of get an eyeball on, on the way it all interacted. And because we've got some friction issues, the bob was made up per plan, but there isn't quite enough oomph to move the pendulum back and forth with the bob on there. So it's a work in progress, but it's a running clock, which is really, really cool. And ideally, these arrows want to be pointing straight up for the plans, but since we're playing around here, I'm just moving it to the right time. I started this at 11 o'clock, and right now it's about 11.28, and that's the 11.30 mark. So not too bad. Really fun project, cool design. And once you hear that clicking and get used to it, the bug really bites. And I'm looking at a couple other designs after I finish this one up and we'll move on to another project. Really neat. Thanks very much for taking a look.